Hello. This video is going to be a comparison between two known brands of brownies to see which one is better. First we have Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownie Mix Thick and Fudgy. The other Betty Crocker Fudge Brownie Mix. I'm going to start out by making the Duncan Hines and then later on I'll be making the Betty Crocker and we'll let you know how each turn out and the end result of which one tastes better. Okay, so I have put the brownie mix into an 8x8 eight eight, um, Pyrex thing so they would be extra thick and I went ahead and used the fudgy recipe which calls for only two eggs because I want thick fudgy brownies and it says 8 by 8 about 30 minutes probably won't take my oven that long because it's gas and it never takes as long as the directions say and you can see I added some pecans on top so I'm going to do the same thing whenever I make the Betty Crocker one I'm going to use the fudgy recipe and the 8x8. Eight eight. Same size pan. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and make them exactly the same. Alright, about to pop them in the oven. Okay, so the brownies, I just took them out of the oven and as I suspected, they did not take 350 at 30 minutes. I took uh, 25 minutes at 325 and you can see they're nice and thick and I'm gonna let them sit here and cool off before I cut into them because they're extremely hot right now okay so these entire kitchen smells amazing doesn't it mm -hmm. and Lane cannot wait to have a brownie so we shall cut one. How big? This big? Or nine or six? Fudgy. Okay, let me get me one. Oh, I've demolished mine. Oh well. These are definitely fudgy. And you can see. How is it? Good. Very good. Okay. So, next up we'll be doing the Betty Crocker ones. Look at that. And we'll let you know which one is better. Mm. Oh yeah, this is so good. Oh yeah, gotta have milk of course when you eat your brownies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is really good. Catch you on the Betty Crocker mix. Here we have the Betty Crocker brownie mix ready to go in the oven. Um, from first glance it looks identical to the Duncan Hines mix. I made it the exact same way with the same amount of water, same amount of oil, same amount of eggs. Put pecans on top. The coloring is also exactly the same 
And so I'm going to go ahead and cook it at the same 325 for 25 minutes. And we'll see how it comes out. Okay, the Betty Crocker brownies have now come out of the oven. Um, I cooked them for the exact same temp and time as the Duncan Hines. At first glance, the appearance and color are the same, except there's a few cracks in this one. And I noticed that I don't think that they got as tall as the Duncan Hines one. So right now I'm gonna let them cool off before I cut into them because I just took them out and they're really hot. The main test is going to be the taste. So we'll see when we cut into them. Okay, here we go for the taste test. Caitlin, you wanna come try this? Mmm. Okay. So, as you can see, they are not as fudgy looking as the Duncan Hines were. Now, I'm going in for the taste test. They are good. I would not turn them down, but Duncan Hines is the winner. Duncan Hines is top brownie. Betty Crocker is not as chewy, fudgy, or thick as the Duncan Hines. So there you have it. Duncan Hines versus Betty Crocker. Duncan Hines wins.